Hello everyone, welcome back to Final Fantasy 16. We defeated Kuka, we took his hands, and now we're going back to the hideaway. When we see him again, I'm gonna make a lot of hand jokes. Oh no. Oh yes. I hope I never see him again then. Just look at yeah. the state of you. You're more of a wreck than this place. <gasps> Is this what you call taking better care of yourself? No more excuses, your ladyship. I order you to rest. <sighs> Fine. I'll rest. Fine. I'll rest too then. Mm. Don't worry, Gav. She's in good hands. Look, we should have never let her fall into Hugo's. Back when he had some like. Mm. Is. He's starting already. Is he now? And what the hell were those wireless doing there? Yeah. I was wondering about that all the way home. Otto may have heard something. I'll talk to him. And I'll talk to Tomes. The lawsman. About what? About your faithful hound for a start. If any four-legged friends ever done that before, I'm betting Tomes will have read about it. But what I want to know is, what happens afterwards? It's all well and good Toggle saving our asses, but if it costs him what it costs Jill. Right. Let me know if you learn anything. Will do. And you do the same, eh? Jill. Listen to Taya. I will. Thank you. Bolts from the blue. The power of Earth. Ooh, Titan looks menacing. Uh, all right. Titan block. Ooh. Immediately after a perfectly timed precision block will initiate a devastating counter. Oof, that's fun. Let's look at that. Oh. Punch forward, hold button to wind up attack, further increasing potency. Huge damage here. Upheaval, slam a fist into the ground, dealing damage to all enemies with range. Hold button to increase range. <coughs> hmm, okay, fun. Let's equip it. Sure. Okay, yeah. Okay, cool. Otto, is now a good time? Mm. It's not a bad one. How's Jill doing? Oh, she's been better. The blocking thing might be. Ty is making yeah. sure she gets the rest she needs. Good. Any word on Kuka's movements? Vivian's doing what she can to try and track him, but she's feeding on scraps. We've sent owls out to the curse breakers and their other friends in the west, asking them to keep their eyes peeled for anything unusual. No leads yet. But it's only a matter of time. Right. Let me know when you find something. There he is. All right, Clive. Still busy saving the world. Who's that? No clue. Rapunzel, Mitch. apparently. When did you get back? Mm, just now. What about your studies? Adjourned. Since Hugo Kupka invaded Rosaria. All the canvas in uproar about it. He's gone mad. He's turned rogue. It'll be us next. You try concentrating with all of that. All right, all right. You win. How long will you be staying this time? 
Dunno. A while, most likely. Any road, while I'm here, I was hoping you could do us a favor. Mid. You can't just expect me to. Please, go inside first. While we are busy tracking down Kupka, you should have a little time to spare. Professor! Now there's a face I haven't seen in a while. Shouldn't you have it buried in a dusty old tome? <laughs> I did, till a familiar trill pricked my ears. As ever, your exuberance is a breath of fresh air, which successfully scattered the painstakingly assembled fragments of my thoughts. I'll take that as a compliment. Well, Clive, you heard the professor. So, I'll meet you in the story and when you're done. Wait, hold on. Breath of fresh air. Bloody tempest, more like. <laughs> Oi, Otto, you got my gill. Huh? What are you all about? My fee for bringing Mid across. She said you were paying. That little. <laughs> the storeroom, was it? I wonder what Mid's plotting. Maybe you should go uh, upgrade my weapons. Yeah. That's exactly what I was going. Jill looked white as a sheet when reported. First things first, you know how important it is for me to be optimized at all times. Why is? And what can I do for you? Going purse weighing you down. Mm -hmm. Oh. It'd better all be here. Oh no. You'll not find a better it's price than expensive. that. It'd better all be here. Hmm. I can replace my potions. I have strength tonics and elixirs. Wow. Well, the the, the so battle is going fine. Yep. Let's see. Clive? Yes? So, will it be? Um, let's see to... Reinforce? Can't reinforce anything. Okay, can mm -hmm. we buy something worth? Stormcry, Flame Tongue, Leaven Bolt. Huh, I really thought I was gonna be able to create. Yeah, yeah me too. A f a, an earth sword or something. Yeah. Uh, let's buy let's buy the platinum belt. Yeah. No scratches, right? Yeah. Okay, yeah, let's see. We can reinforce nothing. That it? Huh. Fine. A little weird. That is a little weird. Yeah. You have weapons well, don't for just stand there gulping. No. No new no swords. Thingies, nope. Platinum cannons, nope. Nope. Nope, all? okay. Guess we're fine then. Maybe I'm doing something wrong. Uh, I think not, but. No, me neither. I was pretty sure we got an upgrade material out of that fight with Titan. With Kupka, so yeah. said they give us new clothes. Yeah, I'm sorry, I haven't gotten to that side quest yet for your new clothes. Yeah. Come on, Otto. Maybe I should do one of those hunting quest episodes. Just go hunting for a, for a doom. 
creature. You took your time. I'm a busy man, mate. I'll get to the point then. I want to turn the room down there into a workshop like the one I had at Dad's place. Mate, you've only just come back. And? I've been thinking about it for a while. Dad said I had a knack for engineering. Told me everything he knew about it. Then sent me off to Canva to learn everything he didn't. That was his dream for me. That one day I'd put my studies to use for the good of the cause. But I'm helping no one stuck at school. I've studied enough. It's time I put my knack to work. I know that I can help the people here. And I want to do it. Well, well, well. If Sid could see you now. All right? I'll tell Otto you'll be staying. Is she Sid's daughter? <laughs> I knew you'd say yes. Which is why I, I wrote up no idea. Story. Yeah, I think it For is. Me. Who else? <sighs> what do you want me to do? Sit first things first, I need equipment. And materials to start making my own. <laughs> There's the design to the stuff I need. And the stuff it needs smithing from. Middolf. The other materials I can work myself. Just need a generous benefactor to lay them on for me. Apart from the wood. I'll need a carpenter for that. But I can just borrow yours. Is that everything? For now. I'll let Maybe you know if we get her going, she can build better weapons for us. I don't know. Yeah? Where to start? Materials and tools. That means Karen and Blackthorn. Speak with Karen. Speak with Blackthorn. Yeah. Those are that. Well, I just came from there, so that's a little. Chop off Cooker's head this time. No. I don't think I've ever been up here before, but. Mm. You were born in Rosalith, weren't you? How's it coming along? Uh, nearly there. Was wondering where you got to. Mid's back from Canva. Have you seen her? Just now. She's planning to set up a workshop in the stores and ask me to buy her some materials. Here's the list. Is gonna be competing with you, so please get her started. I yeah. think you can find everything <laughs> on there. This lot. Would be much of a trader if I couldn't. Excellent. As for payment, it's paid hundred times over by what that girl's done for us. What the if hell did she do for us? Filters, we'd have not to drink but blight water, hmm. and that would have drained the life out of us long ago. Oh, she created water filters. I'll send us now you to know. When it comes in. And knowing is half the battle. Blackthorn, you busy? What's it look like? I have a commission for you from Mid. She requires certain tools. Do you think you can make them? Bloody hell. Was she planning to build with this stuff? An airship? Yeah. I'll see what <sighs> I can do. Tell her I'll bring them over when I'm done. My thanks. And mids, no doubt. In Final Fantasy VII, Sid has an airship. Yeah. Let's see if Bardolf's yeah. available. Daddy build himself. Sid is also in Final Fantasy VII? Yes. Okay. He's like a pilot uh, engineer guy. Mm. Speak with Bardolf on the pier. Oh, sorry. Yeah, Sid is a recurring character. Or okay. at least a recurring name. Well, not in every game. But but sure it in this one. If we ever play Final Fantasy VII Remake, Rebirth or something, I think it's called, Part mm -hmm. 2. Um, 
You'll probably meet him. Should be enough as to a new us playable going. character. Okay. okay. Which we are gonna play. Bardolf. Mid's looking to build mm -hmm. a workshop in the storeroom. And she needs the aid of a skilled carpenter. So naturally I thought of you. Well, I'd love to help the young miss however I can. But I'm afraid I got my hands full just keeping this place afloat. There's holes need patching, and if I don't patch them, will all of us sink into the mere? I'd gladly spare Mid all the time I have, but the sad truth is, I ain't got none. <sighs> I see. It don't have to be me, though, does it? What about that other fella? You know, the one over at Martha's Rest. Bernard, was it? That's right. Oh, that one. And he's the a friend of the cause. Did the bridge. I'll ask Martha if she can spare him. Thank you, Bardolf. <laughs> Least I could do. Mm. Make for Martha's rest. Yeah, indeed. That is pretty far. Let's go there anyway. <laughs> well, for us, it's just a teleportation click away. I would have sent a letter if I was Clive. Yeah, but who's got the time? All right. What is Marta doing, by the way? How oh, well, there she is. Clive, what brings you to the rest? Our uh, home finds itself in need of an extra carpenter. I wondered if I might be able to borrow Bernard for a short while. I don't mind if he don't. We're all friends here, aren't we? Thank you, Martha. Do you know where I might find him? He went up to Cressida on business. No idea what, mind. Place is a ruin. Far as I know, he's still Rebuilded there. Rebuilded him, Martha. I'll look for him there, then. Cressida... And the hell is Chris and the ruins. Have I been there? Okay. Am I dumb? Um Do I need to go down? Probably. Mm -hmm. Standard down. The Dalmex must have taken the keep. How do I get there? See, I'm going the wrong way. If I go like this, I will not mm -hmm. get there. I need to go here. Okay. Is Storkal with me? Yeah, he is. Good. Have we found out what the, what the, where those powers came from? No, not yet. Oh, yeah, that's right. I have a chocobo. Let's go. White one. What was its name again? Fly Ambrosia. Ambrosia. Got him. Attacked by wolves here. Um, am I yeah, still yeah. going the right way? Nope. Nope. Saved my life. What brings you to a place like this? You do, Bernard. A side quest Martha for the main I quest. Find you here. No. I have a proposition for you. Oh, do you know? 
Come work for free for us. Yeah. <laughs> you can do all the water filters you want. Yes. Building a workshop, you say? <laughs> well, that beats tacking boards to bridges, sure enough. And if Martha didn't mind me being gone a while, then neither do I. You just tell me where you want me. <laughs> In the middle of That's the lake. The spirit. I, uh, I couldn't ask a favor, though, could I? Before we go? Of course. Another side quest. Yeah. Can you kill those creatures behind me? Oh. Well, that there is Cressida. Where I grew up. Ain't much left of it now, though. Except my parents' graves. Oh. But I, I came up here hoping to visit. I even patched up the bridge to get across. Only to find the place crawling with thieves. But you're a dab hand when it comes to dealing with beasts and bogles, isn't it? It's the least I can do. I knew it. Mm -hmm. I am the local destroyer of beasts. This shouldn't take long. Well, let's try uh, some Titan powers. Yep. Good idea. <laughs> That's fun. Click it while it's in the red, yeah. or if you release in the red, it does a, an extra strong attack. Oh, fuck! Can be interrupted. Yeah, that's. Well done. Quite strong with the, the earth. Yeah, the earth thing needs some uh, getting used to, but uh, I like the deflection. I like the holding to the red and doing yeah. super strong attack. It's fun. It's a lot more fun than Garuda. <laughs> do it. <laughs> it's actually useful. Everything is funner than Garuda. You made short work fun of that lot. <laughs> funner. Thank fun, you, son. funner, funnest. Now my folks can rest in yeah. peace once more. How long is it since the village was abandoned? Yes, last week. <coughs> well, people started packing their things after the duchy fell. Between the blight and the Imperials, you just couldn't make ends meet. Must be nigh on a decade since the last wagon left. 
Oh, it may as well have been a century, looking at the place. It's in the Cressida I remember. I'm sorry. Ah, don't be. Can't live in the past, no matter how nice it might have been. As soon as I'm done saying a prayer for those that raised me, it's onto your hideaway. I'll meet you there. Don't you take care of Mid's little list? Better head back before she thinks of anything else. Can I just go to the map? Yes, I, I think can. you can. Yeah. Was Cressida a place I could teleport to? Didn't uh -huh. know that. It is now. They said they'd give us two clothes. Yeah. Oh, I hate that they keep on st saying that. What? They say that they're gonna give us new clothes. And I'm just ignoring that side quest. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Didn't even check where it was. Shouldn't you be getting some Maybe rest? we were there. Alright, Clive. You've all done then. I am. I've placed your various orders, and a carpenter by the name of Bernard is on his way from Martha's Rest. That's brilliant. Thanks, Clive. Is there anything else you need? Nope. Blackthorn and Lady Karen have already sent over everything I asked for, and I've got all my plans drawn up. So as soon as Bernard gets here, we can get to work. <laughs> I can't wait. <laughs> All right. The breath of earth wind up reduces wind up cool down time. Yep, okay. <sighs> That's my good deed for the day done. Let's see how Jill's faring. Give me a second. I am actually very interested in... What is this? Raging Fists, okay. Wow! <laughs> and what is the ultimate ability? No. Oh, okay. No, okay. But that's not for any time soon. Because I have the ultimate ability of Ramu and... The Phoenix. What is the ultimate ability of it? Uh, it doesn't have one. Ah, Clive. Taya. How's Jill? Recovering, but she still needs her rest. Of course. Take good care of her, won't you? I'll do my best. Oh, Gav was looking for you. He said he had something to show you in the shelves. The shelves? Oh, that's right. He went to ask Hippocrates about Togo. He must have found something. Aha, we're gonna find out what's going on with Torgal. I swear to God, if Torgal's a dominant. Oh. <laughs> a two Torgal. Fuck it. It's Jill looked white as a sheet when they brought her back. Clive, where have you been? I've been wanting to ask you something about Togo. Where'd you get him? Where did you get him? Yeah. <laughs> In the first place. Uh, my father brought him back from one of his expeditions into the Northern Territories. They were crossing a snowfield when they heard his cries, and seeing no sign of his pack, they took him in. What do you reckon, Tones? It certainly adds weight to the theory. Clive, I believe that Torgal may be no mere hound, but a rare frost wolf, an animal native to the far northern reaches of Valisthea. In one of our oldest bestiaries, yeah, if you found I found there. reference to a frost wolf who served as guardian to an ancient queen of the north. 
Such was his mastery over ether, he could cast magics on command. His name was Fenrir. Fenrir the Frostwolf. Now, the annals do not state it explicitly, but I have reason to believe this queen was a dominant of Shiva, a girl from the Northern Territories and her faithful hound. One awakens as the dominant of Shiva, and the other... You're saying that Jill uh. granted Togel his powers. What? Just like Fenrir. People called him my hound, but Togel and Jill were inseparable. He grew up as a faithful companion to the dominant of Shiva, and years later, his powers awakened. Just when his huh. master needed him the most. You're right. If it weren't for Torgal blasting those bastards the kingdom come, Jill would have been for it. Quite. Though Torgal's power is his own. His latent birthright as a Frostwolf. It had only to be unlocked. Oh, get you, Torgal. <laughs> You're an even finer hound than we thought. <laughs> and regarding your original concern, you need not fear for Torgal's health. Why, the beast has the appetite of a behemoth. Just this very morn, I found him with his nose buried in my nuts. Next. <laughs> no. There you are! I've been looking everywhere for you. Bernard's here. I need you to introduce us so we can get to work. <sighs> I shall be a moment. In some Final Fantasy games, Shiva is like... More, more than one entity. Okay. In Final Fantasy thirteen, it's two. It's the Shiva oh. sisters. Uh, and in Final Fantasy fifteen, I think Shiva was m like a multiple Shivas. Okay. So that she has like a counterpart here doesn't surprise me. Although that wasn't what I thought it was gonna be. <laughs> brilliant. It is. Well, I couldn't have done it without you. You and everyone else. But I promise I'll pay you back. I'm going to work my fingers to the bone for you lot. Starting right now. Just you wait. I'll make wonders like this world's never seen. Then I look forward to seeing them. All right, what can she do? Now that that's settled. I wonder if Vivian's made any progress tracking down Koopka. Thanks for letting me do this, Clive. I'll pay you back, I promise. Oh, okay, it's not ready yet. We have everything we need to begin work in earnest. And work in earnest we shall! Oh, wow. Super, super excited there. Just happy to be a part of something. Well, uh, give her some time. Uh, yeah. Maybe she'll just do things for the for the community, mm -hmm. not for me. Uh. I think I'll wait till mid July. Mm -hmm. Let's go to Vivian. Hello, Vivian. How goes the hunt for Koopka? Largely in circles. We have myriad sightings of strange soldiers in unexpected places, but nothing definitive as yet. If only we knew for certain by what route he left Rosalith. Well, keep at it. If anyone can piece this puzzle together, it's you. And I'm willing to wait as long as it takes. How can she figure it out by looking at a map and thinking about it? Well, maybe. Plot armor. Oh, are we just gonna stand there looking at their thing? Or is this just a flashback? What? Hmm. Here. Would that be a problem? What? Do you know, Clive? I believe it a mercy that you didn't inherit your father's throne. Your poor people would surely live in fear of you. You have nothing to worry about on that front. I won't be claiming his crown. <laughs> that is a relief. Uh, Clive, have you got a minute? 
We, um, have a guest. A guest? Imagine it's Kupka. <laughs> I was ex thinking exactly the same thing. Uh, oh, it's my uncle. It was a pleasure. You know, inside. <laughs> uncle Byron? Fly, my boy! Have a cask and stoke the ovens for your favorite uncle is here! <laughs> <laughs> Those people. What the hell? This is a hideaway, sir. Well, it's in the middle of a lake. It's not very hidden away. <laughs> I don't know why people haven't found this. Aha. Uh -huh. Meanwhile. Meanwhile. You knew that. Hmm? Twins. Holy. This is. This is where Odin is coming from? I'm not... Dalmechian yes, I think so. For peace. These are How the people who took respond? Kupka? If no. they're willing to accept their fault in the matter, I see no reason to refuse them. No, no. Still, we must insist on substantial reparations. The twin side stores are not as bottomless as reported. Aye, and we have many more mouths to feed. We shall just have to have the Dalmex empty their treasuries for us. Of course, none of this would have been possible without your timely intervention, Prince Olivier. Indeed, I doubt any of us would have had the courage to trade words with the mighty Titan, nor less the wit to win him over. The Empire owes you a great debt. May the huh? blessing of the crystals go with you, Your Highness. May the blessing of the crystals go with you. She told him it was her son, but it was just her, mm. because Very her good. child is... Well, it seems like he's a lap cat. He's yeah. just hanging on to his mother for dear yeah. life. What the hell? Now, let us come yeah, to I the fucking question knew of she was gonna eye when up. <laughs> the Dalmex will withdraw their troops. Leon's fire could rid us of them in mere moments. What? The men of the Fist will not withdraw until a peace treaty is concluded. So let us keep the negotiations open, give them time to gather what gold and trinkets they can, and once they deliver that which we demand, what worth is a piece of parchment? Your Radiance, were Prince Dion to take the field, the enemy would surely send their own dominant to meet him. And while His Highness would of course prevail, there would be heavy losses on both. You need not fear Hugo Kupka. He is engaged on the Western Front. Even were the Dalmex to send for him, he would not arrive in time. As much as I would enjoy witnessing a clash between Bahamut and Titan, it is not to be. They have Titan. I bet I have not told anyone. And what of your subjects, your Radiance? If the fighting spread to the city proper, the people would bear the brunt of it. <laughs> it doesn't care there about that. losses, it is true. Yet for every citizen who falls, another can be bred. Oh, dear Lord. For every home that burns, another can be built. The Empire will live on. What an asshole. Dion? Yes, sir. So they're gonna take the money, then ignore the treaty attack because they know Titan is mm -hmm. not yeah. there and they're lying about where Titan is. Quite sure date. She yeah. took him because she told him to f fight Clive at Rosaria. So th I think this was her plan. Their plan, maybe. That painting. Behind him. No. That looks like the. Yeah. Yeah. The, 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 the symbol we've seen. Oh no. Is it gonna say something awful?
prepare for battle. But sire. Do not Did... make me repeat myself. Hmm. Return Did I stutter? And await my orders. So... It's the symbol we've been that seeing in the dungeon wish. and... Mm -hmm. Radiance. I shall depart at That's once. when Clive became Ifrit. You know what I mean? Yeah, yeah I know um, what you mean. Uh, it's gonna be, it's gonna feel so good the moment she, she takes her last breath. May Gregor forgive you. What do the astrologers augur? The stars are in agreement, your radiance. The shadow of treachery hangs over Prince Dion. Hmm. So Annabella's tales were true. You disappoint me, Dion. Annabella has bought the, the, the astrologer. Hmm. Oh, she just wants her son to be... Like, the only prince. Because she wants him to become... Uh, mm -hmm. King or yeah. Emperor, and then she's like pulling all the strings because her son is like just an extension of her. All right, let's um, let's end the episode there, guys. A lot of uh, speculation there from my part, even if I don't <laughs> understand half of what's happening, probably. <laughs> uh, I'm glad right. I'm not the only one. <laughs> Thanks for watching, and we'll hope to see you in the next one. Bye, guys. Bye, guys.